Hello everyone, welcome. In this video we're gonna be talking about all kinds of different things, but largely focused around Oracle Database and some of the tools you can get with this database. Or actually, we're gonna be focusing on one main tool which is called Oracle Apex, which allows you to basically build a thin UI on top of your database to work with this database. Now, if you're new to this channel, first off, hello, I'm Caleb, and second, I started this channel focusing on databases. I've brought in, so now I do software development, business development, and all kinds of different things. But when I first started, I was really niche to database design, SQL or SQL, which is the language used to talk to databases. And this is how I established myself on YouTube. And it's been a while since I created the, the videos at the start. And one of the videos series that I did was on Oracle Database. So Oracle has been in my life for a long time. Now, I, again, I just said that it was a couple of years, but I'm only in my 20s, so it's been like a fourth of my life. So Oracle has been there, and when I started this Oracle series, I taught people how they could get a free version of the Oracle database. And this was basically a thinned out version or had some limitations in some way. And there's still the Oracle Express Edition, which you can go get. It's a thin Oracle database that you can have for free, but there's something new that people might like even better, and that is free Oracle Autonomous Database. So first off, what is the Autonomous Database? Basically, the whole idea behind the Autonomous Database is that you don't have to worry about any of the database management tasks, and that is the selling point of the Autonomous Database. And this is a cloud service, which I love, so the whole idea of having a database as a service is huge for me because in all of my videos, I always have to teach people the whole process of downloading and installing these databases. And honestly, that's a huge pain if you just want to work with the database. Now you can do that in the cloud and from your applications, you can just connect to that cloud database. It makes my life a lot easier, especially teaching other people to get started. Everything around is just better. So with a cloud database, you can just go launch a database and you're done. You can start using it. and that's taken one step further with the autonomous database. So all the extra database administration, you ain't gotta worry about none of that stuff. So with the, originally when the autonomous database came out, you could get a 30 day cloud trial, which was nice because that gave you the opportunity to try out the database, but this was not that awesome. You know, you could go to these other cloud providers and use their databases and you didn't have to worry about paying or running at a time. Well, thankfully, which is awesome to say, Oracle has done this. They have a free tier of the Oracle Autonomous Database, so you should be able to use the database, creating applications that use this database and not have to worry about your time expiring or using up your cloud credits because it's always going to be free. So this is actually a pretty big deal to me because I personally like the Oracle Database. One of the key reasons I decided to do that Oracle Database series a long time ago was because of the trustworthiness of Oracle and their database software. Now I do try to stay pretty neutral on claiming which database is the best, and ultimately I just think it comes down to your specific needs and which database meets those needs the best. Personally, I've covered a lot of different databases on this channel, at least five of them, and we're probably gonna be covering more in the future. So I'm by no means here trying to sell you on a database. Well, for one, it's free, so not really trying to sell you anything, but I am giving you an announcement saying that if you've been using the Oracle database or you've tried the autonomous database online, but your time expired, now you can get that for free and you don't have to worry about that time expiration. This is actually something I learned at the Oracle Open World Conference, which I just went to the other week. And that's where I learned a lot of the new Oracle stuff. And one of the big pieces of that was Oracle Apex. Now you may not have heard of Apex, but it's actually something that comes with the Oracle database. So if you have Oracle database, then you have Apex. And with the autonomous database, the free tier of autonomous database, you can use Apex to build applications. And the whole idea behind Apex is that it's a low code tool. Low code meaning you don't have to code to create the application, but it's not no code. There is some layer of customization or plugins that you can use to customize your applications to the exact needs you have. But for the general purpose, you don't have to worry about coding to build out an application. And I think the ideal customer for this, and I'm not saying that if you're not this customer, it's not a useful tool. But when I think of this tool, here's what I think of. You have a database and maybe you're a database guru, 
and you want to have a new way of looking at this data or working with this data through an application, but you are not necessarily a full-fledged application developer and you want to basically build out that user interface with as little coding as possible. Personally, that's where I feel Apex fits nicely. You got some database experience, you're working with that, but now you want to add that extra web layer so you can view your data, work with your data through a web application. Now, why am I bringing both of these up? Well, earlier on, you could create an Apex environment that would have a free database and you could play around with the software to build applications. Now, I'm not here to say that the free tier of the autonomous database is the best solution for production applications, but I would say that this is a better environment to put your Apex applications on. You might not get that service level agreement or anything you would get with a full-fledged version of Oracle, but this is a more official location to launch an application. And you can do all of this completely free. Oracle Autonomous is free, Apex is free, and uh, you might have to pay for internet, but other than that, it's pretty much all free. So if you've seen my Oracle Apex tutorial series where I just cover the basics of creating applications, I did this all inside of apex.oracle.com. And then I later moved on to the autonomous database and how to get the 30 day free trial and so forth. But now you don't have to worry about the 30 day free trial because it's just free. So you should be able to follow the whole series on just the autonomous database. So you can find this database at oracle.com forward slash cloud forward slash free, I think. And you can find my video Apex on Autonomous, which will give you the steps necessary to get Apex going on the autonomous database. So this is the biggest takeaway I got from Oracle Open World, probably because I have a horrible attention span. I could have gotten so much more, but there is a compilation video that the Apex team did where they talked about some of the announcements from Oracle Open World 2019, just in case you're watching this in the future. And I'll try to leave a link to that in the description, but they talk about some of the, the more uh, Apex oriented updates in 19.2. Just so you guys understand the numbering system, 19 is the year, then there's a dot one and a dot two. So there's two releases each year and we're upcoming to 19.2. So that's where all those new features are talked about and they'll be in the new version. Now, if you want to try out those new capabilities, you can go to tryapexnow.com. That's going to give you the 19.2 release. Or if you're watching this in the future, it'll probably be the whatever the upcoming release is that they're working on. And yeah, I'm just going to leave the hard part of talking about all those new features to the Apex team because I don't want to. So peace out, guys. Thank you for watching. And Please be sure to subscribe if you've enjoyed this content and want to see more from my channel. Bye. Uh, right here. Say hi to the camera. Oh, no, right here. Cutty. Say, oh. Say hi. No? Okay. And I know what you guys are thinking. In the background there, what is that awesome light source you got there? Wow. This is a beautiful lamp thing that goes on top of your computer and Ben Q sent me this to give it a try and share with you guys what I thought. So this is actually really cool because it kind of shoots the light like straight down in a line so you don't get a whole lot of glare on the screen but your entire workspace is nice and bright. But the real cool part is that you get some customization settings so you can up the brightness to get it really bright or you can decrease the brightness, or you can actually press this to turn it on, turn it back off. Wait, no, no, the other way around. Turn it off, turn it back on. You got a button here, which will go to into the optimized reading mode. And man, my desk is all dusty. Sorry about that, guys. Yuck, uh, I need to clean that off. And then lastly, you can change the, the color. So now it's gonna go really white to really yellow. So whatever color you guys like, whatever color temperature, you can get exactly what you need. And look, I'm editing the video you're watching inside of the video you're watching. Wow, that's crazy. I have another very similar light that works in a similar fashion, but it's of a different design. But you get some similar configuration settings. And I will leave a link to this bad boy in the description, which will be my Amazon affiliate link. If you go and purchase, then I'll get a couple pennies or something like that. So that would really help me out. So this is my cat.